seconds into the match, he hit him with a hard right, deep sprawl. He's I got see. that neck. He's out. I see. He comes. Oh, that was amazing. Shoked. Listen to the crowd here at State J.A. The crowd comes to life here because this is Dempsey who guard. He's probably more or less just using her as a ticket. Talking. It's interesting. But let's go back to Frank Murphy. He's going to get these fellas introduced for us. Thank you, Charlie, Rich, and Dan. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our fifth fight of the night. Hello, Jessica, our round five ring girl, Jessica. Again, professional bout, our referee, Mr. Chip Snyder, right behind me. Three five-minute rounds in a 155-pound lightweight division. Fighting out of Ottawa, Canada, the Ottawa Academy of Martial Arts, with a record of 2-0. Five feet ten, weighing 155 pounds, in the blue corner, Fred, all natural Stonehouse. <laughs> Fighting out of Evolve MMA in Cleveland, Ohio, with a record of two and zero. Oh. Five ten, 155 pounds, in the red corner, Devante. Johnny Cage Smith. Chip Snyder with our directions. Okay, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the back. I expect a clean, fair fight. And if you guys obey me at all times. Any questions red? Any questions blue? Touch cards go back. When I spoke with Devante uh, okay, as he came sir, in today, I said, what ready? about on, you? It's unusual. His corner guys right away spoke up. Said, he's 22 years old, and he still watches cartoons. I said, I'm a few years older than him, and I still do, too. I said something unusual. If that constitutes unusual, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> yes, me too. I believe you, Charlie, collect Looney Tune figures. It's actually Scooby-Doo. It's Scooby-Doo. Action yeah. figures. They're not and dolls, they're, either. I don't know but, how this guy gets up here, Dan. Action figures. Action. I'm sorry, action figure. I didn't think. Scooby you didn't say dolls, but I'm just figure. make sure you specified that. When they right, have here we go. Uh -oh. Devontae's not wasting time. Whoa, big takedown by Devonte, and look at this. He's ending up in side control. You could just see the power in Devonte. Yeah. He hit him. He hit Fred with one overhand right. Fred's. He didn't want any part of it. Stonehouse better get some hip movement. He better start laying on that left hip and try to get those knees in between the body there of Devonte. Or this could be really short work here. Devontae doing great job. There's the big punches coming in. And good job, good job of Stonehouse getting Devontae back in control. And now uh, working that open guard. And he's going high with it. And well, there, remember, they're not sweating. Oh, he's got the arm. Devontae looks like he's nervous here in this position. Well, Stonehouse is a BJJ out. specialist as well. As you can see, he's doing a very nice job transitioning. Oh, he almost completely rolled it. He now it's the triangle choke. This could be deep. He has to come over. There you go. He's stacking it nice and high. Devontae needs to push in and try to get separation there. But this Fred, is really tight. You can tell. Fred, Fred needs to lift his hips up, knock that left arm across the body to tighten that up. Yep, you can definitely see Stonehouse doing a very, very good job there of controlling. Well, Devontae is doing a nice job. As you see, he has that left arm pinned behind that leg and it's given him space to breathe between Fred's leg and the, and the neck of Devontae. It's given him space I'm, to breathe. And I was just going to say, bring the elbows. I'm a big proponent. Throw those elbows when you have the guy's head trapped. Forget that submission. you got it locked down. Work those elbows and get that early cut going on in the fight. Well, Devontae is trying to get, trying to get Stonehouse's neck the against the cage, which that's perfect. That's exactly what you want to do. You want to get up there and you want to stack on top of his neck. Take away that separation so it really crowds your opponent. But now you can see Stonehouse is getting to an angle here, which makes this submission a lot tighter. And Devontae's throwing some punches. That may, may mean it's getting even a little bit tighter, but Devontae hanging in there very well. This, and he's doing a good job of keeping pressure. It seems like he's going to break this very soon. Chip's not going to stop this fight up and, or stand this up in this see, position. Right here, oh. He just, he just he didn't mounted have to. him. He just, and he just posted up and he stood up. Oh. Oh, so big right hand down. by Devonte. You could hear that one thunder through the building. And now look, Stonehouse is going for that leg lock. We mentioned about how so many more people are training these legs. And Chip Snyder watching very closely. He's very astute. Oh, that oh, was Devonte. That's dangerous. I wouldn't have jumped for that. He's trying for a hill hook of his own. But I, oh, oh, someone's oh, nice cut. Nice job. Someone is now cut. 
It may be coming from the mouth of Stonehouse. One yes. of those big shots may have hit him off. Well, Devontae's landing his power. Oh, oh, he is, he's oh. dead. Out. Devontae Smith with power and authority rushes down on Fred Stonehouse, and he is out cold. And he brings his record to a 3 and 0. Oh. oh, Stonehouse is a bloody mess. What power Devontae Smith possesses. My that, gracious. Oh, that was such power in that behind that right hand. He was he grabbed him by the neck of his left hand, what? held his head there, and rained down punches. What? That was brutal. What hey. ferocity of punching power. And that was Knock from a 155 yes. pounder, Rich. Wow. He's somebody to watch right here. Mas oh, Maestro's Barbershop bringing us the replay. You can tell. Stonehouse was rocked a little bit. He's really focusing on the submission, and that leaves Devonte squared up, and he just starts throwing thunder, and he lands a solid right, which rocks Stonehouse right there, follows it up with another powerful shot, and then Stonehouse is kind of out of it, and then followed up, and that last one was punishing and completely leaves Stonehouse just unconscious. He was out of it. He He's still out of it. He is still on the ground. I really hope him well. I hope he gets up. I hope he recovers well. I know that had to hurt. Like we were just talking about, there's no, the, the brain recoiled off of his skull. We got a great medical staff here. It looks good. I think I see some movement of the hands of Devonte. I mean that, or I'm sorry, excuse me, of Stonehouse. Devonte there taking some quick pictures. And you know, as a competitor, it's good. We see Stonehouse moving. His extremities are good, you know. Uh, he's, he's waking up, and the doctors are right there. We got the best medical staff always on site. We got, uh, not only do we have EMTs in, uh, at every show, uh, we also have doctors cage side and ringside to pay very, very close attention. You see the ever good Mike Wilkins, and um, we might be taking a break here from a sponsor while we find out here the condition of this match here. And man, Rich, when you see something like that, you know, you realize this is legit. These four ounce gloves, you know, and this, this in my opinion, is what really makes a big difference. When you have some, you've seen Mike Wilkins in the corner with, with one of his training partners in Fred Stonehouse, and you know they're very heavy in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And, and when you're very heavy in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you see something happen in that where you want to keep going those for those submissions. And in a submission tournament and grappling with you going to an event, you're not worrying about those punches. And what happens if you compete a lot in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, sometimes you lull yourself to sleep and you forget that guy above you when you take that risk to grab maybe a leg control. He's allowed to throw those hammers wrapped in four ounce leather down straight at you. And in that case, Stonehouse, I think, got rocked by the first one and wasn't properly able to cover up. Mm -hmm. He was kind of rocked. And by the, and, and Devontae recognizing that one after the other, a, a brilliant display of power and, and patience waiting for that and escapability of getting out of the submission mm -hmm. yeah. attempts, Rich. Yeah, he did, a he did a nice job getting out of the submission. I think it was actually the second hammer fist I think Stonehouse was pretty was out there, yeah. and it's hard for Chip Snyder to tell. You can't really yeah. tell, and you want to give everybody a fighter's chance. But <laughs> that's it. That Devontae Smith, I believe he's from Evolve MMA in Ohio. That's a dangerous fighter. That was power displayed behind those punches. Yeah, he they, is somebody to watch out for. Yeah, no doubt. And that, you know, at 155 pounds with that kind of power, it's scary. You know, going up, I, I look at that and I'm like, man, he's in phenomenal shape, great conditioning but something that really stuck out of me about Devontae was his poise. He was very, yeah. very poised. He found his positioning before he went for the big strike. He found his range to get out of submissions before he attacked. He found positioning before he planned his attack. And I think that is an essential key that a lot of young fighters can learn. Get your positioning before you start throwing. And eventually yes. those opportunities will open up just like happened when Stonehouse focused on another part of his body. And man, all of a sudden, Devonte could drop the hammers and, and he did a great job, you know? And it's great to hear Stonehouse is, is up. He's, they're taking Stonehouse out just for precaution, but he was moving around in the cage. They're gonna give him a quick visit, make sure he's okay. And, um, you know, that's the great thing. We have one of the best 
medical staffs on board here with Gladiators of the Cage, and they're always ready. We have the best doctors right here, so they're going to check him out, and I have a feeling Stonehouse is going to be okay. We'll keep you updated through the show to the fans watching there and let you know his recovery, hopefully, uh, in a little bit. But, wow, what a great, great showing by Devontae Smith. Let's go down and get the official announcement now with the man standing in the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, at three minutes and one second of round one, I knock out in the red corner, Devontae Johnny Cage Smith. Turn it over to Dan Bogan. Thank you, Frank. Devontae, I gotta know, what makes you mad? Because I don't ever want to make you mad. People hit me. <laughs> hit me, I hit you back, but five times harder. I think we're gonna be all right then. That was vicious. Congratulations, there's gotta be some people you wanna thank. Uh, first off, I want to thank my coaches, uh, John Cook, uh, Jay, Chris uh, Lozano, Demetrius, Moses. I want to thank uh, my team, Evolve MMA, my brother Jarrell Hodge, who's fighting next week, my brother Sean Raw, my brother Roller. They stayed after practice with me. I want to thank uh, Genuine Fitness, my sponsors. Uh, they uh, make my meals ever since I've been making, uh, I've been eating their food. Losing weight a lot easier. and. Uh, I want to thank God and Jesus for everything I have because without him, I wouldn't be here. Uh, well, and one more thing. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. His hands can't hit what his eyes can't see. Rest in peace, Muhammad Ali. Let's hear it for everybody's Met Team of all. Cleveland is happy tonight. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, Dan. Quick announcement. Of, uh, we can have our fighters, Ethan Goss and Chase Rowden. Ethan Goss and Chase Rowden. Check in down at the ring down here. Ethan Goss and Chase Rowden, check in with us down here at the ring. I, I'm going to say this, Rich. When they stepped away for us a moment, we literally looked at each other and we said, wow. wow. Unbelievable power, unbelievable performance. And as the night goes on here, it's hot outside, but it gets it is scorching inside. These fights are awesome. And I, we thought that this card could be maybe not so far only the card of the year so far, but this is a candidate for maybe being the fight of the year in any promotion in our area. What a great show so far. And we, we still got five fights. We got a couple title fights on the way, and we're going to bring out the big guys a little, little bit. But before we do all that, we're going to take a moment, take a quick intermission before we get back into the fight. So grab a cold one, relax, check out our sponsors, check out GOTC.com, check out AssassinsMMA.com, and see if you find something you like. And we'll be back with you in a few short moments to get the show back underway. <laughs> 